Hal Jordan, The Green Lantern Corps, uh, mm-hmm. number 28. Robert Vendetti writing Rafa Sandoval on art. Uh, the other two guys read this. I did not read this one because I've not been reading this since issue one. Uh, but what I'll say, just to tease whatever conversation you're about to have, I did see just in the chat this week, I think Connor read it first, or Matt read it first. Why no, you read Matt it first? Read it first. And yeah. you, you put in the chat to the other one, oh, Vendetti finally wrote a good Hal moment. And yeah. go on, so... Yeah, I, I'm yeah. gonna let Matt take this one because he okay. was the one who wrote first and was like, "Yeah, there's some yeah. Vendetti got Hal right." But so yeah, so so Hal's chasing down High Father and Light Ray, and he his ring isn't allowing him to cross the light barrier, right? Uh, hmm. But he keeps pushing and keeps pushing, and he ends up breaking it apart. But instead of dying, it just like you know it says willpower unable to maintain physical reality. You nearly flew apart. He starts doubting himself, and he hears a voice behind him, and is like, "You don't always have to go solo, Harold." And he looks back, and there's Martin Jordan. He's like, "I'll be your wingman." Now, regardless of if Martin Jordan was here, this was very reminiscent of that Tom King issue of of him revisiting his relationship with his dad. It is, yeah. Hmm. And so these moments of his dad cheering him on. So he can catch High Father to let him know about Orion and these metal golems, you know. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's, ahead, it's, it's always very vague about whether like it, it, his dad's actually there or not. Mm-hmm. It, it never confirms one way or the other. It's like, well, yeah. we're you know we're at the edge of reality. I could be here. You're yeah. thinking about me, but of of course, alternatively, it could be just in his head. But yeah. it it doesn't matter because the point is either way. He's there because he's thinking about him. He's there because he needs him to be there. And yeah, and there's just all these moments like, you know, yeah, that's how I taught you. You do it right, you know, two hands on the stick. Don't don't be afraid to to take these maneuvers. And he tells him too, like, you know, I, I always kept a picture of you with me. I knew out of all the Jordan boys, you're gonna be the one that was like me. Uh, and not that the other boys weren't my kids, but like you you saw what happened to me and still decided to get into a plane for a living. Like, yeah. That's that's the Jordan spirit. There's the bit he says, you know, it's in your blood. I don't mean being a pilot because, you know, your yeah. brothers aren't pilots. But mm-hmm. it's, you know, this this idea that you've got to try and be better. It That's yeah. that's part of the, the, their mentality. And it's just some really good house stuff where he's just, he goes from that self-doubt to being confident in how Jordan in a plane. Because that's what this construct is. It's him... In basically what looks like the plane that his dad blew up in that we've seen numerous times yeah. before. And he's just like, you know, it's a hell of a good time, right? Fish got to swim. Pilot's got to fly. And that at that moment, he kicks it in and he catches High Father and Light Ray. And they're both like, well, no, that's not possible. There's no, the green light is not faster than Light Ray. Light Ray is the, the god of, of light. Like, so it's the fact that he, he did the impossible and that's what led him to the new gods. Yeah. And then he turns around and he's like, Dad, did you ever get scared? And he turns back and he's gone. And he says that I love you. And then, he, you know, that's when he catches him and lets him know what's going on. And, it, you know, it's that part of the story. That, that's that's literally the entire issue is just Hal in yep. a plane talking to this idea or ghost of his dad. And then, you know, at the very end is he, he catches them and he takes High Father in the plane and Light Ray's kinda of pissed because he wanted to mm-hmm. he, he hates that Hal did He wanted to him. do it. Mm. Yeah. I'll say I, I'm impressed that given that the Hal parts of the issues are usually your weakest points. Like that's it's, it's always Hal parts weak, but you know, Guy and John yeah. and whoever good stuff. It's impressive that there was an issue it was entirely Hal I, and you ended I, up I yeah. think that might actually be the strength. When he's just focused on Hal, there is no distraction. He's like Hmm. No, okay. This is Hal. It's got to be right, otherwise the issue falls apart. So right. it, it kind of has and, and to be good. And here it got to the basis of who Hal is as a character. And no matter what he does, he'll be in his dad's shadow. But here, after this, he knows his dad's proud of him. He doesn't have to be in the shadow, but he'll always be Martin Jordan's son. Right. And, and you you have that that final page. Him. That final mm-hmm. page is a you know full page spread of him flying away away from these beams in that ship with you know High Father back, yep. and you have his father looking over them. It's actually a really good issue.